In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to organize your workspace. So moving forward, you're not really going to have that much troubles in trying to find things or just, you know, just to basically make it a little bit more easier. So on the left hand side, we have text channels and voice channels. We're more than likely not going to be using voice channels, but we're definitely going to be using text channels as a way to categorize our images. So first of all, let's change it from text channels. We don't really need that. So we'll right click, edit category, and we could change this to something like mid journey images. Next, we'll click on save changes at the bottom and escape. And now we have mid journey images here. Now the general tab, hmm, we can change that also. So currently it has a picture of my eggs. I can right click, edit the channel and change the name. I'm going to call this food. To create a new channel, you just need to click here where it says create channel. And here we're going to create a text channel called people. You can do other channels as well. It doesn't have to be the names of specific things. It can be the name of a particular type of art as well. Another thing that you might want to do is add an upload channel. And here is where you would upload images of maybe yourself or your family that you might want to use Midjourney for. There'll be more on this later. Another thing you can do is I'm going to create a updates channel or an updates category. So if we click here and create a new category, I'm going to call this updates. You can actually move these, move these around. So I could move that there. And in my updates channel, I'm going to add one called status and another one called announcements. I don't think that's how you spell it. There we go. Now you're probably wondering what these are and I'm going to show you exactly why these might be a bit important for you to have in your server. Though I say important, but it totally is up to you really if you want to use these or not. So if we just click into mid journey, they have their own announcements section and they have a status section. In the announcements, they usually let you know the latest updates that have been happening with Mid Journey. And instead of us kind of going back and forth into different servers, I can pull this information into my own server. And at the bottom here, you can see follow to get this channel update in your own server. We can click here where it says follow. And then we can add this to our status channel, which is what we created before. Sorry, our announcements. That's the one. And now we're going to do the same with status. Now, when we click into our server, you could see that we've now added the announcements and we've added any status updates. The status updates basically tells us when mid journey might be down, if there's any bugs or anything like that. So today we've had three status updates. The next one we'll get should hopefully come in here and we'll be able to see it without having to go back into mid journey. Now, in order to delete any of these channels, we can just hover over the channel, right click and delete that channel, which would mean all of the images that were made in that channel would also go. So be very careful uh, about that. 
if you have already been using Mid Journey before and you have a whole load of images which is in its own server and you want to retrieve them, you can do that easily by going to your inbox, clicking on mentions, and here you will see the list of all the images that you would have created in Mid Journey server. If I want to bring it to my own server, I need to click here where it says jump and it brings me back into their server and to the image that I created. Next, I want to right click, click on add a reaction, search for the envelope and click on that and what happens is it sends a message to my inbox. Now when I say inbox, I don't mean your email, I mean the inbox that you have within, or the private messages, shall I say, that you have within Discord. So over here you can see there is now uh, a mid-journey bot, that's a mid-journey server, but we have the mid-journey bot, and there's a one next to it. If we click on that, it will show us the image, along with the job ID and the seed. Now the job ID indicates this particular, it's like a fingerprint to this particular image. What we want to do is we want to copy this and then come back over to our server. And up here I can actually do a new channel and call it animals. And then here, I'm gonna do a forward slash and we want to use the prompt called show. Once we've done that, we want to paste in our job ID. And if we press enter, it brings the image into our server. And here we can choose to do whatever we want with it. But now we have it under our server, we can manipulate it however we choose. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you about upgrading your account. If you haven't done so already, Mid Journey only allows you to have 25 minutes or 25 images for free. Um, so it is ideal that you do upgrade your account because we're gonna be using so many images in this session. And I'm also gonna be showing you in the next tutorial how you can gain extra hours per day. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.